Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're going to continue on the tractor theme. I told you we're going to add a cooler and stuff like that. Get the wood splitter going. So let's start working on that. See, I got the cooler here. I got some stuff from Amazon. So away we go. There's my cooler. Uh, I took this hose off so I knew what I was doing. So, found out this is 3 ace hose. So, let's put this on first. I gotta get this washer back in there. O ring, whatever. It's an O ring kind of fitting. I don't know, that fitting always feels angry to me. As in, it shouldn't go as hard as it actually does. Okay. Well, these are hydraulic hoses from their prior application, but it's just on the return line. The return line doesn't really have pressure on it. A little bit. You know, 100 PSI at the most. So those will be fine. This is a straight through radiator. You see where the core is attached to the heads. Doesn't matter if it's going this way or that. So let's get these going. Now I have a Connector here I bought locally, and this is the Amazon thing. I don't really care which one I get first. Now these are 3,000 psi fittings, but that's just what. The standard on the tractor, so that's what we use. Here's my goop. Let's put a little goop in here. Now this is brass, so obviously I'm not going for high pressure. You know, to put brass in hydraulic system unless it's on the low pressure side, return side. And then maybe it's not a good idea either, but you know. Sometimes you do what you gotta do. First thing that's gonna pop off of these are the hose clamps anyway. Put the other one on because I got wet goop on there. And these are just half by half pipe by three ace barb. All right. Now hose on. And on. With these tight. That screwdriver ain't cut it for me. Pretty tight. All right, then the other side. Clampy. Okay, that one's on all the way.
Okay. Now I got a male and a female that I can just put in series with the other thing. So I just gotta put this back on, fire it up, and we're off. Okay, here's the part we took off for, uh, don't piss oil out. Fit that. Nope. I need to do crescents. And this has got a bunch of Teflon tape on it, which needs to go. I hate Teflon tape. Teflon tape in here, too. I got some all the way around in there. Some on here. All right. Let's get started so I have pingers back. Squish this so the air is out. And we'll see if we can get it tight enough with one wrench, because I only brought one. And I thought the other one would work, but it does not. And as you can see, there's already the clamp method here. I have to get another wrench. All right, so let's clean this mess up. Okay, now let's connect it. First thing to connect is the cooler. We're gonna do a thing like this. I think I have to be able to reach that, so no. What do I do? What do I do this? And here on the return line, I just gotta hook up. To this one. Okay, like so. And on the pressure line, clean this off, and this is to hook up to the pressure line. Let's sneak it in there here. And you can't see this probably, but I'm going to unhook the bucket. Let's put a cover over it. And then connect the pressure line. Okay. So the wood splitter is connected. I'm gonna put it on the brake so this can't go anywhere. We'll start her up. Out of gear. Key. Okay, interesting. And the bowl is full of crap. Lots of crap in this tank right now. Full to the top with crap. Of course, that all got sucked into the carburetor. So now I gotta blow it out again. All right. Try again.
Okay, so let's see if this is doing any good. Oh, it's still just tractor good to run for a little while. Okay, just a little bit of water temperature. And that pressure is normal. The pressure is up to a bypass on these tractors. It's probably less than that. Um, all, the, all the oil doesn't get pumped through there, just a bypass amount that gets goes up into the top of the engine goes to the filter but it looks like that uh, cooler is doing some good this is slow I know tractors like this are slow when using the internal uh, hydraulics I might look at trying to make that go faster but it ain't gonna go too much faster if you want it to go faster you have to what people do here Let's shut her off for a while. To make it go faster, what people do is either add a hydraulic pump onto the uh, shaft, or they mount a hydraulic pump onto the front down there where the crank attaches, because you never really start with the crank anymore anyway. Well, that's my video for today. Showed you how my wood splitter works. Crawls like a snail. Way it goes. Better than beating out with a hammer and a sledge and a wedge and a wedgy sledge and all the stuff. So we're going to split this up. Um, and then after we get it all split up, we're going to have another treat. Um, we got some grinding to do and we got some cutting up to do with the ultimate saw of death. The saw that the neighbor tells me, you know, if you're running that saw, let me know. I'm gonna be somewhere else. Because if an accident happens, I don't wanna be the one that comes here and picks up your pieces. Literally. And the neighbor is not a squeamish guy. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna work on myself on seeing if I could speed it up a little as a possibility I could speed it up a little bit, not much. But I have that much time. I did that much wood. And I have that pile to go. And under here, under the grapevines, all the way over to there is more. And most of it needs to be split. So, a lot of work ahead of me. Hey, this is editing SG from the future. I was editing the video and I thought I should tell you that I did fix the slow crawly speed problem. There were two problems, both of them mechanical. One, when you add like a quart, two quarts of space, you need to add a quart or two quarts of fluid. 
the fluid wasn't out, but it was low, which didn't help. Probably caused it to cavitate a bit. So that wasn't helping anything. And the other problem was, the hydraulics lever here was kind of seized up. It, I couldn't get it to go up and down right, and I guess I was only getting it up to like about here. But now, I can get it up to there, and it goes a lot faster up there. And I just, you know, lubed it here. And I lubed it down there and all that stuff, so that this stuff all works better now. Well, that's probably twice as fast as it was going. So that's that's what you'd expect um, because these are high pressure, low volume pumps. Uh, one, they're not meant to spool like this, although people do it all the time. Hence, that's why I put that cooler in. And two, it's an old tractor. It's all they needed at the time. So, hey, back, back, editing over. That's my video for today. Hope you've enjoyed it little tractors wood splitting SASMR and uh, we'll uh, next time we'll find something else we can do so remember if you got a bunch of wood in your yard always split it up bye <laughs>